We're now going to move into a proper professional sporting clay situation. No. Are we ready? You're ready. Serious? Yeah, serious. And when we go into a sporting clay situation, invariably there are two traps with two different targets. So now we have two kill pictures in our head. We have two pickup places in our head. If necessary, two feet positions. But here you can, the feet position will be the same. I just need to cop this one. Zoe and Ewan having coped with a going away target and a rabbit target, they're then going to get to grips with shooting them as a pair. Uh, shooting the going away target first and then shooting the bolting rabbit target. The reason I'm doing that is to give them an honest experience of what sporting clays involves. Because when they go to a sporting clay shoot, invariably at each stand they go to shoot, there will be two targets doing completely different things. They will A, have to learn how to prepare a plan for each target, and B, they have to learn to make that mental switch. Having killed the first target, they've then got to move on in their brains and do something completely different. And it'll be their first experience of a typical sporting clay combination. Right, so here's what's going to happen. You are going to say pull, and you're going to shoot the feet off the going away target. Right. You're going to kill it. You're going to release the trigger and wind the gun back there. And when the gun back's there, the rabbit's going to come. Right, OK. Pull! Feet, shoot. Yes! Down for the rabbit. Rabbit. Follow it, follow it, push. Oh, oh, oh wow. you did it! Oh, that's fantastic. Now I can't you're believe a proper sporting that. clay shot. Can I have some sort of medal or something? Oh, at least, at least a gold. <laughs> I really didn't expect to do that because I find the one going away really difficult. I think I'm better at the right to left thing, but great, thank you. But you did it. Great instruction, Joe. Well, thank you, Zoe. We're a team. We Have a team. wrist. Okay, <laughs> well, let's do it. Oh, wish it. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> well, <coughs> no pressure. Try under it, don't worry. No, I pressure. love it. Zoe, when you walk from here, I don't want you just to walk, okay? I want to see a You swag. want a swagger? I want a swagger, I will give okay? it that and more, Good. trust me. <laughs> okay. I'll really lap it up. I'm a Excellent. pro, what can I say? Pull. Shoot. Good, rabbit, down, down, rabbit. Under it, under it, push. Ooh. Oh. Remember that big gap when you were trying to win 50 quid? Yeah, keep it big. Keep it big, but until then, point at it. Pull! Shoot. OK, wrap down. Under it, under it. Oh, too quick. Too quick. Slow down. Pull. Shoot. Good. Excellent. Right, under it, under it, push. But you jerked the gun and Did pushed I? it off your face. I have a trouble with that rabbit one, don't I? No. No, you know you can kill it because you've yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull. Follow it. Shoot. OK, round for the rabbit. I hate that damn rabbit. <laughs> well, do you know what, Ewan? I don't think you hate it enough. OK. <laughs> Let me get some more hatred in there. Pull. Shoot. OK, down. Pull. OK. I'm going to give you a rest. Yeah, yeah, okay. I need it. Re relax. Relax. I can't, I don't know what's going on with that one. I okay. used to be spot don't, on every time. Don't worry, don't worry. Relax. Good effort. Okay. You in, in trying to cope with the combination, I think just compounded his frustration because he'd seen Zoe succeed at it. So all he was focused on was just succeeding. And any process that I'd be trying to get him to follow had just gone out of the window. He just wanted to kill that pair of clays. And the consequence was that he actually, to his great frustration, he actually missed a few. But of course, that's got no reflection on his ability to shoot. And as we progress through the lessons, you'll see him actually coping better and better. Rabbit was really frustrating. Once again, it was a left to right target. If it was an up and down flying rabbit, I would have got it. But. Uh... I'm finding that hard, I need to work on that a little bit because I'm, I'm tough on myself, I like to be good at everything so 
I'm not happy. The only time I managed to get the rabbit was when John got out 50 quid, which uh, obviously changed my thought process. So uh, I hope for this next lesson, his wallet is nice and fat. In fact, maybe he can throw his wallet in there and see if I can shoot that. Zoe on the rabbit target, I think, really surprised herself. Uh, she'd seen uh, you and struggle at it, and I think she perceived it as being something that's going to be very difficult. And she had success at it very quickly. And then when she progressed to having to do the combination, the going away target and the rabbit, uh, Zoe was a real star and succeeded very well. The rabbit shot, although I hated the thought of shooting little rabbits, because I like them, um, was better for me because I think the right to left, left to right type thing just works better for me. I don't know why, I can't explain it, I don't know what the science is there. But I think I was, I was quite pleased that I was able to do the rabbit shot. And then weirdly, because I could do that so well, then when we put the overhead shot with the rabbit shot, I was then able to do both. I don't know, maybe because I was feeling nice and conf confident about the rabbit that I then was able to do the overhead with it. I'm not sure why. It's hard to explain when you just start doing something and you can do it. Um, because I still think I'm definitely learning the skill and I think it's just a bit of hit or miss so far, but so far so good. <laughs>